if you have ignored the educational system, it's going to affect the development of that nation. And that is what is happening in Nigeria. If you ignore these builders of mind, whatever you are building your nation, these people will destroy it. Do you think that the system of, system of education in Ghana is pretty better than the one in Nigeria? Ghana has become the most attractive destination for Nigerians seeking university education on the African continent. The reasons for this yearly influx of Nigerian students in the former Gold Coast have been many. From 1999 to 2013 alone, Nigerian university lecturers went on strike for a record 12 times. I'm back again, guys. I have really challenged myself this month. If at a today I'm still posting a video a day, that means I have won this challenge that I set for myself. I wanted to post consistently for a month like I used to do back in the days. So, and if I can't make it past this video, I have tried. But I hope to make it past this video. With all of that bragging being said, <laughs> welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. I hope you like the this video and if you're new i hope you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned by turning on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a video you will get notified yo so today let's talk about something important the most important thing in life is life right and good health but after that what follows next is education be it formal or informal education it is very important because there was a time scientists wanted to experiment something they had a woman give birth to a child and they decided that that child should be kept in an isolated place no communication with anyone whoever goes there to feed the child shouldn't talk just feed the child don't talk don't play with the child just shower the child care for the child so the all they wanted to know is how that child will grow up reacting will the child speak or not and guess what the child grew up not speaking so the child had to go through therapy to know how to talk like to know how to communicate so this is why i said formal or informal education is important children learn what we teach them and they also learn from our own ways of life they learn what we want them to learn but sometimes Times and most times what influence a child's life is the example that we set so education is very important right and there have been this debate here and there oh the education sector in ghana is not that good because it's stressless and we also have people on the opposite side of that saying that the ghanaian education system is the best against that of nigeria not me a lot of people have said so because for me i never schooled in ghana do i have my kids here in school but the one we argue the most on the internet is the universities right which i am not in one in ghana so i don't know even though i have a friend from nigeria who schooled in ghana and i also have nigerian friends who schooled in nigeria and i know how they behave they are nothing alike as a matter of fact they are nothing alike so we have a professor in the building what he thinks about the university system in nigeria so let's just take a look at the interview with a nigerian professor by a guy called chooks what's his complete name at the cost of editing this video i will video i'll write his name on the screen so you can check him out if you want for more so now let's take a look at what the professor thinks about the education system in nigeria at the moment at the way our government is behaving concerning education right from primary to tertiary. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you, Andrew. Thank you, sir. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to Antitus TV. Please, today I have with me Professor Shegun Olubengadidich. All right. Okay, thank you, Prof. It's a pleasure having you here today. My pleasure to you. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Um, in respect to challenges in education in Nigeria, do you think that the government are doing the right work to help education in Nigeria? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, it would, it, whatever priority you put on your education will determine your national growth, your national development. Education is for nation's building. If you are not building your education, I mean, in fact, that's even the biggest problem we have in Nigeria. If you are not building your education, your nation cannot be built. If you have ignored the educational system, it's going to affect the development of that nation. 
And that is what is happening in Nigeria. Look at the way our government is behaving concerning education right from primary to tertiary. Look at the state of our infrastructure in university. Look at you. Each time I drive on this campus, I shake my head. I say, God, look at what this university has become. You are the premier university. Yeah. If you no know, UI could be this, then you wonder what is happening in other places. Yeah. So if government will continue to behave you no know, like this to the educational system, then we have we have a long way to go. Yeah. Government must change their attitude. Yeah. They must you know, set their priority to make sure that education is on their priority list. Yeah. If you develop the mind. This mind will develop the nation. Sorry. If you ignore these builders of mind, okay. whatever you are building your nation, these people will destroy it. Exactly. And that is what is happening. Yeah. If you ignore the educational system that can help you to tame, because the mind of man is desperately wicked. Okay. And the only thing that can help tame the mind is education. Exactly. You, can, you cannot imagine if I myself now, as a professor, will go to the main gate and be fighting. You'll be wondering what has this person gone to school to, to yeah. do. Yes. But if you remove my education, you remove my 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 status. If you see me fighting at the main gate, you just see the two fighting and you are watching. Exactly. So you can see the extent to which education has refined me. Yeah. That makes me to think that fighting at the main gate is a taboo for me. Exactly. That you think that what a, or you see me beating somebody fighting or fighting my wife. Exactly. It's education that has helped me to refine my mind. But when you don't have that kind of impact on mind, on people's mind, then you can't. But you imagine government constructing road, government uh, fixing uh, all those uh, light, okay. and some people will go there and be removing it and be destroying it yeah. because their mind have not been developed, yes, have not been trained. It is when you have trained mind that you can have development in the nation. Okay. If government is not thinking of training, developing, you can say, tell me. Education tame the mind. Exactly. When the mind is not tame, the mind becomes so desperately wicked. Exactly. That's why you can see a lot of evil that are committed in Nigeria. You can see crime, you can see wickedness. I cannot imagine people you no know, killing you no know, because they want to make money. Yeah. I mean, I wonder why what with money. Yeah. Or you see people doing a lot of evil because their mind has not been tamed. Yeah. Knowledge tames mind. Yeah. Once the mind has not been tamed, the mind becomes wild, yeah. like a wild animal. And it will be wild. Exactly. The, there is no evil that they will think that is too much yeah. for them to commit. But when the mind is tamed, they will now begin to think, uh, what is the essence of doing this thing? You now begin to ask yourself, what, are the, what, what is the basis? Yeah. Education helps you to do all that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. So now, the University of Ghana, is ranked ahead of uh, University of uh, UI yeah. uh, based on uh, West African ranking. Mm -hmm. Do you think the ranking was very much okay, like the system? Do you think that the system of government or the, the system of education in Ghana is pretty better than the one in Nigeria? Well, for a long time now, I've not been to my last visit to Ghana should be maybe 2017 or 2018. Okay. So I don't know what is happening in Ghana and there. I also have not even seen the ranking in Ghana, but I know that you are still fairly ranked compared with other universities in Nigeria. But recently, I think they said Covenant University is ranked as the best university in Nigeria. I've not had much of a, you know, what is happening in Ghana, but I know the environment will affect your rank. Yes, Education that is not well funded you cannot be very well ranked. Yes, it is when the education is well funded, when all the lecturers and the members, you know, faculty are, you know, are funded, yeah. are doing research, are very satisfied. That they begin to think of doing research. What type of research can we do in this environment? Mm -hmm. eh? What type of research? When people are still struggling to meet basic needs. Exactly. And you know when your basic need is affected, other needs will suffer. Yeah. And Maslow said, food, shelter are the basic necessity of life. Exactly. And that is what majority of our lecturers are grappling with now in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Just to eat, they are struggling. Even to get friendly, okay. Today now I bought twenty thousand naira 
watch of fuel into my car mm. they cannot get to a quarter of that tank a quarter for twenty thousand. how much am i going to earn? and there are people that are not earning as much as oh, oh, yeah. if it is difficult for me to fill my car as a professor at bar yeah. then tell me who can no fear better and the environment that will have supported research is not there exactly. many international funders are not looking at our side they take their money to East Africa. Mm. I'm telling you, they don't do it's only few people that are being recognized. Go to East Africa, you see a lot of research going on. Mm. What research is going on here? No research. Mm. And that's what drives university system. Research. But when the government is not putting enough you no know, premium, priority on education, yeah. then the international community also will say, Well, even your government is not bothered about it. Why should we be bothered? That's the problem. So there is nothing going on in most of our educational system. The research is the real strength of university system. Yeah. We are to teach, we are to research, okay. and we are to also engage in the community activities. Ghana has become the most attractive destination for Nigerians seeking university education on the African continent. The reasons for this yearly influx of Nigerian students in the former Gold Coast have been many. From 1999 to 2013 alone, Nigerian university lecturers went on strike for a record 12 times, including a historic 2003-2004 stroke strike that crippled academic activities in universities for six whole months in Nigeria, while lecturers were negotiating government overpay increments including a historic 2003-2004 stroke strike that crippled academic activities in universities for six whole months in Nigeria, while lecturers were negotiating government overpay increments. Speculative figures as at 2011 put the number of Nigerian students studying in Ghana at above 70,000. A graduation ceremony in one of Ghana's private universities Nearly 73% of the students graduating here today are the seeking Manipa University College are Nigerians. Abdullahi Radiat Asabe, a Nigerian student from Kogi State, has emerged the best graduating student overall, beating nearly 1,000 graduates to attain this feat. I feel, I feel happy and I feel thankful too, same to God and to my parents, because without them, I wouldn't be taking the award for best students and also the overall best students. So I feel happy and I feel grateful. And the reason why for all this, or let me just say the, um, the purpose, there's nothing much to it. It's just prayer and hard work. Yeah, and there's, it's not like I'm special or more special than any other students. And the biggest secret to it all is group reading. Yeah. Education, in my own opinion, is beyond just going into the classroom to learn. Environment also plays an important role. And so you have heard from the horse's mouth what he thinks and why and what are the factors that makes a university to rank and what he thinks about the University of Ibadan, which used to be, I mean, which love Nigerians still insist is the best. In fact, I wouldn't say in Africa or in Nigeria, in the world, they said it's the best. You heard from the horse's mouth and here i am thinking each time i see nigerians coming to argue it kind of baffles me do you know that most nigerians that graduated from nigeria most of these nigerians just have a conversation with them two minutes just say hi their reply will be like this oh i graduated from unizik hi i graduated from unabuja yeah i graduated from university of calabar hi i went to unilag hi i went to uniben <laughs> why is that and for my friends that are Nigerians that schooled in Ghana, do you know that this person can put up a conversation that will marvel you? Like this person can create an idea. She can come up with something that will be like, okay, wow, is this person even a Nigerian? Because it's not common, it's not regular. So that should tell you something. The fact that you go to school, you suffer so much. It's not, it's not like that makes it the best. That doesn't mean 
mean that that thing is the best if you're suffering in your marriage it doesn't mean that it's the best i'm not saying you should quit maybe you try your best to see how you can make it work out for you so that the suffering will end but don't condole it just because you think it's the right thing madam endurance do you understand all right so when i see nigerians coming to argue about this education thing in ghana versus in nigeria how this is this how this is that eh, 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 it breaks my heart because it's not the same the universities in ghana are built with the intention of having human being like they built it for human inhabitants they built it with love basically it's not like a prison like them saying okay let's build a prison most of our unis are like prison you guys i should i even talk about my own in this video or i should leave it let me leave it mm, i won't talk about it one day i'll give you guys my life story and the kind of school i attended and why and all but in this video let's talk about these dummies that finish from some please some nigerians are naturally blessed they go to uni in nigeria and still come out and still be creative but it's not everyone but for some that i have seen that's good in ghana they are amazing like they are creative and intelligent and um, it's not all about the degree and they talk less about their degrees but you can see their degree in action like in the way they behave do you understand you see them behave so well so so humble as as against those some some of those that's good back at home in my country some of us that's good back at home in my country can't you see that i sit down here and drag people and i, I know a lot of channels here that do it they sit down they drag other people other nations other people they fight just like i'm fighting now basically this is a reflection of what you get this is the reflection of schooling in nigeria mm some have come here to ask me did you even go to school at all no i didn't <laughs> i didn't i didn't go to school mm. so you don't have to suffer so much in life to become great in life okay babies all right so we put an end to it the university of ghana is ranking top i mean the universities in ghana and that of my country nigeria not the same all right if you like cry me a river eh she's broke i can't say my country for peanut change if saying the truth means that i am selling and thank you for buying for those that are buying <laughs> anyways i'm already stressed filming this video so i'm tired let me just end this video here i'll see you guys in my next one Doo -doo.